Welcome back to Jeebus Gaming, guys. We're here at the Fresh GameStop Dumpster, and there's one good-sized GameStop bag, and I definitely see a white case, probably a Wii case in there. Anyway, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button for awesome dumpster driving videos every single day. Oops, and leave this video a big fat thumbs up, and let's see what we got in the Fresh GameStop Dumpster. <laughs> Now it's going to be almost impossible to beat what we got last night, but still, we got We Go Vacation, just a case. No manual, but no problem, I'll still add it to my case wall. Let's see what else we got. This dumpster is like notorious for just tons and tons of paper. There might be another bag with just a bunch of paper, unfortunately, which sucks. You know what? I'm going to turn it upside down. Makes my life easier. Oops. Looks like some gift cards, a Starbucks cup, and yeah, it's a bunch of paper and broken rubber bands. Well, <laughs> at least we got one case. Better than nothing at the first stop. And anyway, I will see you at the next one. Welcome back, guys. We just went by the next GameStop dumpster and got three of these nice bags. Now these two aren't that heavy, but this one definitely got some weight to it. I'm hoping there's something good in there and maybe something light hidden in here. Last time I found a bag I thought was too light, it had those freaking afterglow headsets in there. So you know what? Can't judge it until we try it. Let's get into the lightest of the bags first. Ugh. Wait, what is that? That sounds like there's something in there. What is this? Hold on. Hmm. It's like a hearing aid. Oh, it's got the little things that go on the earbuds. That's what I heard. So they're definitely just some pair of earbuds, but I mean, those aren't going to do me no good without the real things. Whatever. It's going to go in the trash anyway. <laughs> Let's see. Endless supplies of these. Ew! I don't want to touch that. Let's see if we we'll see anything else in here before I just toss it aside. Looks like a bunch of just garbage. Yeah. Ew. Well, whatever it was, my hand just touched it. That's grody. I know people in my comments always are like, you need to wear gloves, and I know I do. But I get too excited when I want to go through these bags. Anyway, let's go to the next one. Ooh. Xbox case. Nothing in it. And a PS4 case, I think. Anyway, the case is fine. I need those. Please be something. Ooh, a real game, actually. Outlast Trinity. Please be in there. Please. Oh my gosh. I have never found this game. The thing I like, these new gen cases, the discs fit so securely, like, you can't hear it. Well, you can hear it because it's loose, but let's hope it's not destroyed. That's in flawless condition. Perfect condition. Holy crap, I've never found this game before. What? Whoa, whoa, what is that? Is this a two disc game? The Outlast. In oh, that's why it's in the trash. It's supposed to be two discs. It's two games in here, but it's missing one. It's still a free PS4 game that's usually, what, 30 bucks? So, I mean, that's probably worth 10 or 15 bucks. Since I don't have a PlayStation 4, I can't do nothing with it. So, at least get a little bit of money off it. Ugh, open up bag. Now I need to see what else is in here. Gross. Can't they be nice to us dumpster divers and like separate it? One bag for food, one bag for all the cool stuff we want. That'd be so nice. Ew. I'm gonna wash my hands for like 20 minutes when I get inside. Not even joking. Well, that bag looks empty. Let's go through the heavy one. If the oh man, this boy is really heavy. If that one had that in it, what is this gonna have in it? it better not be a water bottle. I swear. Ooh. Oh, never mind. What is this? Oh, this is instructions on how to set up the freaking destiny things from September 1st. This is old. Why'd they keep it for so long? Wait. Oh. Oh. I think the thing is actually still in there. Two of them, it says, on the front. Maybe they just used one. This is a pretty small game stop. Let's see. Oh, it is. Look at that. Is there two? No, it's just one. I used just one, I guess. But it's actually a Destiny 2 standee. That's pretty cool. Definitely going to keep that. 
Here's dummy display covers. More trash. What is making up all this weight? Oh, I think we found the unfortunate culprit. Freaking advertisements. Ugh. Or these are all the display slip covers, unfortunately. Absolutely worthless and complete trash. Let me move this stuff over here. Put it on top of my water so I don't lose it or accidentally throw it away again. That was terrible. More of them. Ugh. I hate when the weight ends up being just advertisement or some other junk like that. There's some more weight down here and it's just more advertisements. No game. Just complete utter junk. Whoa. Oh my goodness. Freaking McDonald's toy. I thought that was a phone. Oh, I hate you. What else do we got in here? Anything? Ew, a bunch of crap. Oh, oh, hey, trying to hide from me. An Xbox 360 hard drive. Let's see, how big is this? Doesn't, oh, 20 gig. That's pretty good for a 360. Wow, this bag actually did have some good stuff. Let's see what else we got in here. There's something plastic. Ew, it's plastic, all right. Okay, this GameStop is like the grossest out of all of them. They have some good stuff in here, luckily, but as far as their bags go, they're pretty gross. Well, that looks like it's it for those three bags. But anyway, a hard drive, a PS4 game, a case, and a Destiny standing. That's freaking awesome. Anyway, I will be right back. Welcome back to Jeebus Gaming, guys. We just got our haul home, and what you're seeing right now, I actually did not show on video because that's all that was in a dumpster, but we did go by a Barnes & Noble, and this was all that was in there. There was no boxes, unfortunately, but we got one, two, three, four, five of these bags, and they're actually really nice quality, and they're obviously brand new, but look at that. $20 price tag on these things, so obviously I'm, <laughs> I have no use for these. I'll ask around, see if my family members want any, and if they don't, we'll probably be able to sell them for half. I usually try to sell for about half or 30 to 40 percent of retail, so five to ten bucks a piece. That's twenty to forty dollars, twenty to fifty dollars. I mean, so hey, whatever. I just did my math so wrong, man. My mind is just shot right now. We got freaking pulled over on the way home. I was so scared, and it was just over a freaking tag light. Ugh, it scared me so bad. I thought we were gonna get in some type of trouble. But anyway, before we get into the night's haul, I wanted to go through a few things we found the other night, but the night we found the kiosk, but I was actually, look at my cat sitting there attacking the plastic. The night we found the kiosk, I forgot to go through some of this stuff because I was just so psyched. But we got this Skylanders thing, which is brand new in the box, which is pretty cool. It's a um, shield striker. We got this hard case for MLB The Show 16 MVP Edition. It's got somebody's autograph on it, obviously that's printed on, but... If any of you guys are baseball fans, let me know who that is. I'm not sure. We also got this accessory for the GoPro. Unfortunately, it's not the model GoPro I have, but what it does really is you put your GoPro in there and put it on this thing, and it actually float in the water, which is a pretty cool concept. Unfortunately, it doesn't fit my GoPro, so I don't have much of a use for it, but it is new in the plastic, so that's awesome. And the other day, we also found Disney Infinity. 3.0 on Xbox 360. First time I found that game too. And a Nintendo Switch piece of plastic here. I take these because these go on the end of the lanyard. So if I ever find a Nintendo Switch lanyard, I have this for it, which makes it worth significantly more money for some reason. Don't ask me why, it's just a piece of plastic, but to collectors that makes it worth a lot more. Another thing I found tonight I did not catch on camera because it's not really worth that much, but it was just a nostalgia thing, was a freaking Metroid Prime GameCube box. So remember like a few days ago, maybe a week or so ago, we found some GameCube games. We went back to that dumpster tonight, and now we found a box to a GameCube, which is really, really random. And you know I'm hoping that we go back one day soon in the actual consoles in there, because I don't own one anymore. You guys are so curious about what I got. Look at them. Anyway, I'm really hoping we go back and find the real GameCube in there, because we got the games, now we have the box to the console. So all we're missing is the console and maybe a controller or two. Got two cases tonight. We got Go Vacation on the Wii. Just a case. Now the manual or nothing's in there. Funny story about this though. That dumpster I went to right here. 
as I was walking out of the dumpster, somebody else was walking in. We both scared each other, and he was like, "Am I too late?" And I knew exactly what I was talking, what he was talking about. He knew exactly what I was doing. He was going back there to dumpster dive at the dumpster that I was leaving. So we talked about dumpster diving for a few minutes. And anyway, that was pretty funny. First time that's happened to me. I've been doing this for a long time. First time I ran into somebody else at the dumpster, like face to face like that. Anyway, next we found Outlast Trinity for the PS4. I think this is supposed to be a two disc set and it only has one disc in there. Or is it? Let's see. Actually, no, look at that. It, actually, both games are included on the disc. I didn't even notice that when I opened it up. Including Outlast and Outlast Whistleblower. That's really cool. And this is, what, a $30 game. It's crazy how many PS4 games I find because I don't own a PS4. But anyway, that is really cool. And lastly, another Xbox 360 hard drive. This one's a 20 gig hard drive. I love finding these, not because I really use them, but you just never know what's already downloaded on these. Like, one of the first ones I found, I plugged into my Xbox, and it had a couple of, um... What was it? Sonic games is what they were downloaded on there. And it was just, I don't know, it was just really fun. It's just cool. You just never know what kind of games you're going to get on those. And of course, you don't have to pay nothing for them. So that makes it really awesome. Anyway, man, can you stop destroying the bag? Anyway, thank you so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy, make sure you leave it a big fat thumbs up. And if you're not already, hit that subscribe button for awesome dumpster diving videos every single day. And until next time, peace out.